Predicting how the Liverpool versus Man City game will affect the Premier League title race with the help of Premier League fans up and down the country. Let's just talk about the game as an overview. It is huge. It's emotional. It might be the last time Klopp and Guardiola ever manage against each other. And it's the last time, certainly, that this era of Liverpool versus Man City can compete for league silverware. It's only Liverpool and Man City who have even won the Premier League in the last six to seven years. Huge sides. It's the greatest sporting rivalry, I think, in the Premier League in terms of the standard, in terms of two sides getting 98 points, 97 points, 100 points, 99 point seasons when Liverpool won the league title a few years ago. And both sides are on course to win the Premier League. And the game at Anfield is absolutely pivotal for that. According to the Skybet fan view, 86% of football fans think that whoever wins this game between Liverpool and Man City will go on to win the Premier League. That is absolutely huge. I actually think it would have been a little bit less because obviously there's so many games after that where Liverpool could drop points because of injuries or City could drop points because of a focus on maybe the Champions League, which can obviously be incredibly hard fixtures to think about and to strategize for. 86% um, alludes to the fact that maybe Arsenal aren't quite in the title race in the same way and that really we are in a two-horse race between Liverpool and Man City. And that ultimately this game will decide it. And it is steeped in history. We have to be completely real and say that the 2-1 at the Etihad nearly four years ago where John Stones cleared one off the line. Leroy Sane scored the winner after Firmino equalised. That game literally was the margin of error where if Liverpool had won that game, they would have potentially got on to be centurions in their own right. They would have potentially got on to be invincibles, the second invincible side ever. And even... Premier League champions and Champions League winners at the same time. So the Liverpool Man City game is hugely consequential. I think fans in this survey have definitely realised that. If City go there and win comfortably, it's a very big if, of course, I do think that would be enough to really start a bit of a, a roadblock in Liverpool's ability to, to, to win the rest of their games comfortably, if that makes sense. I think City have got the ability to go to Anfield and really stop the momentum, stop the belief and kind of cut off the emotional connection that this Liverpool side have to Jurgen Klopp and just bring this Liverpool side back to reality. Obviously, they're on cloud nine after what they've done in the FA Cup, getting past Southampton was incredible with about six or seven kids on the pitch. But obviously, that win at Wembley was absolutely huge against Chelsea, the kind of narrative around those clubs as well. I think if City win the game comfortably, I'm not saying we will, but we won 4-1 there a few years ago it absolutely could derail Liverpool's title challenge. But if you look at what Liverpool could do if they beat Man City, firstly, the mathematical advantage over Man City with only a few months to play in the season, what, 10, 11 games, would be absolutely huge. That's one factor that literally, on a mathematical level, Liverpool would be far closer to actually winning the Premier League and getting over the line if they can get three points against City and stop the City machine, who are now 19 unbeaten in all competitions. But we have to talk about that emotional connection. How much belief would the likes of Connor Bradley and uh, Bobby Clark and all these guys, how much belief would they get? How much belief would Darwin Nunes get, for example, or Cody Gakpo? A couple of these new players that have come in, or Dominic Sabozlai, come in, they can feel the aura around the club and they haven't actually won the Premier League yet with Liverpool. Obviously, Darwin Nunes last season, I think, had a relatively poor season and Liverpool got into the Europa League, not even the Champions League. So... If they get into a winning position against City and win the game, then suddenly all this kind of emotion around Anfield, the connection between Klopp and the fans, what Liverpool have, have clearly built in the last few years, that becomes realised. That becomes real points on the board. And I think it would make Liverpool huge, huge favourites to win the Premier League, just like the fans in the Skybet fan view seem to agree. Who do fans think that will go on to win the Premier League this season in general? 42% think it's Man City. 40% Liverpool and 9% Arsenal. I think that's massive, actually. I think a lot of people think Arsenal will lose um, when they come to the Etihad. I think a lot of people think that Liverpool have got a great chance of winning the league title. And I think maybe it alludes to the fact that the kind of 42-40% split um, means that both sides, you know, there's a world where there's a draw in there at Anfield as well. As well. Obviously, we're talking about wins and losses, but ultimately, there could just be a draw and the title gets decided in the final couple of weeks of the season and suddenly the injuries and the other fixture congestion becomes absolutely huge. Maybe even FA Cup 
you know, uh, latter rounds become important in terms of squad rotation. Maybe the two sides all meet um, in the FA Cup as well, and that becomes an interesting dynamic. But it seems very evenly spread amongst football fans between Liverpool and Man City, with Arsenal having a 9% chance, even though they look so good. Uh, Arsenal fans must be absolutely gutted. This is very interesting as well. The Skybet fan view also asks, who is the greatest Premier League winners of all time in there? Obviously, you've got the treble winners of 99. You've got the Invincibles of 03, 04. Then you've got a few Man City and Liverpool sides in there. You've got the Man City Centurion side from 17, 18. Uh, Liverpool 19, 20. You've got such a huge points total, the second biggest in Premier League history. And then, of course, the treble winners from last season. This is very interesting. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I think on a footballing level, I think the Centurions are the greatest side in Premier League history. I know the midfield is slightly different. Fernandinho instead of Rodri, for example, De Bruyne and David Silva. But that midfield was so complete, so balanced. In the Premier League, that, that, that side failed in the Champions League. There's no question about it. It didn't fail in the League Cup, for example. It failed in the FA Cup. But that side in the Premier League, as a Premier League outfit, is the most successful we've ever seen. We define Real Madrid as the most successful Champions League club of all time because of the amount of times they've won that trophy. In the Premier League, points are all that matters. And ultimately, you can be invincible and get relegated. I know it's a bit of a trope these days, but no side's ever got 100 points. Even if you scale it to different forms of Division One football in football history, no side's ever got that many points in a Premier League season. Absolutely outrageous. We have to talk about Liverpool, though. Who beat Man City? two times at Anfield in both the Champions League and the Premier League in that game. And that was Liverpool. So this Liverpool side was so good under Jurgen Klopp that they beat the Centurions. And I think the Centurions are the, the best individual Premier League side we've ever seen in the league, which says a lot. Obviously, the Arsenal side, fantastic. And that Liverpool side that won during COVID doesn't get the respect it deserves because half of people weren't really focused on it, with all due respect, because of obviously external factors, because there weren't fans packed out in the stadium. I don't think it's got the same emotional connection for Liverpool fans. That's why this Liverpool Man City game is so huge. It could be the first time Liverpool win the Premier League with fans in the stadium. This is very interesting as well. Who has been the best Premier League manager in the last decade? You've got Guardiola on 52%, followed by Jurgen Klopp. You've got Jose Mourinho, Pochettino, Mikel Arteta just behind. I think when football fans look back in their history books of the last 10 years of Premier League football, it is a narrative of Klopp versus Guardiola. We used to have Arsene Wenger versus Ferguson, Mourinho versus Ferguson, uh, Kevin Keegan versus Ferguson even. But the era of the last, you know, basically decade, it is Jurgen Klopp versus Guardiola. In terms of who won the Premier League, it is only Liverpool and Man City. They both competed in the Champions League. They both competed in League Cup finals as well. Um, it's absolutely huge in terms of the quality that both managers have possessed. But it's, it's also the aura. There are a lot of technically gifted managers in the Premier League. De Zerbi, Graham Potter, Pochettino. These guys have all got, you know, and of course, Mikel Arteta. All these guys are very astute. They've all built great sides that play good football, entertaining football. But there's an aura in world football managers. I think there's only three, really. Ancelotti is still there, in my opinion. Maybe he's at the back end of his career. But then there's only Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola. The Premier League has been completely defined by their weight, by the gravity that they bring to the league. And that's why Liverpool versus Man City being the last time these two meet is such a, it's such a shame for the league as well. Because ultimately, there's, there's a lack of cinema, there's a lack of drama when uh, Jurgen Klopp eventually leaves. And that will have to be replaced by someone else who comes in and builds their name up in a similar way to Jurgen Klopp does. Ultimately, Jurgen Klopp came to the league with only a couple of divisions under his belt, no Champions League win, and he leaves winning everything possible with Liverpool, and that is why it's so huge. Following on from that, of course, what is the best managerial rivalry in Premier League history? Arsene Wenger versus Ferguson comes top with 52%, followed by Guardiola Klopp, Ferguson Mourinho, Ferguson uh, Kevin Keegan, as I mentioned, and of course, Mourinho versus Wenger. It's very interesting that Arsene Wenger Ferguson, I think, will always be at the top because of the length of time that these two competed, for the quality of the double winners in 98 versus United, for the, the great size that won um, in the early 2000s as well for both managers. That length of time, you can never really get it back. And obviously, with Klopp leaving, we won't be able to see Guardiola versus Klopp for over 10 years, you know, for close to 20 years, like both managers were. 
But the fact they're second is a huge thing for me. It says that the football fans, even if they're not Man City or Liverpool fans, really recognise and, and, and understand the quality of the rivalry, the drama of uh, Liverpool versus Man City games. And this game at Anfield is absolutely huge for both managers. And we're just going to wrap up with what football fans think about one of the best sense backs in the world at the moment. Van Dijk's been immense. He's got sh so much leadership. And we have to look and say the goal against Chelsea was absolutely huge. If he keeps a clean sheet at Man City, if Man City lose 1-0, 2-0 to Liverpool, that's huge. That is absolutely huge. He might even end up getting a massive goal. But football fans think that the best centre-back in the Premier League is Virgil van Dijk, 49% ahead of John Stones, who's on 13%. That is criminal, but it doesn't surprise me. There's a lot of Liverpool fans out there on Twitter. I do think Virgil van Dijk's been the best centre-back in the league, though. Saliba, Ruben Diaz and Mickey van der Ven follow up. And if Virgil van Dijk gets his way, Liverpool will be beating Man City in the Premier League. I think Liverpool got a great chance of beating City. The record is horrendous for City fans. Uh, one win in 18 years there. One win in eight for Guardiola. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And obviously check out the Sky Bet fan view. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you very, very soon.